Hey everybody, I'm Coach Eric with Seacoast United and Team Nike. This is our 15U Team Nike Catcher Aiden. Today we're going to be going over the mechanics of proper blocking technique. The first thing that we're going to start with is Aiden's stance. So I'm going to get Aiden in something called a secondary stance. A secondary stance is a stance where we are going to be in more of an athletic position. You're going to see that Aiden's butt is equal to his knees. He has a little lean forward and his head is up to be able to track any baseball that he's either going to receive or block. So when we recognize a ball in the dirt as a catcher, there's a few things that we have to think about. But the first thing that we have to make sure of is Aiden's glove has to be the first thing to turn to the ground because we don't want any balls sneaking through what we call the five hole when we catch. When Aiden recognizes the pitch and turns down his glove, the rest of his body will fall around it, creating a funnel for the ball to be received by his chest protector. We don't want to go towards the ball because that will act as a ball hitting the chest protector and bouncing away. You can see that Aiden's chest and shoulders are angled towards the ground, so as the ball hits his chest, it will fall right to the ground where we want to block everything to the plate. Now the most important thing that you should remember for your young catchers is his face is pointed towards the ground as well to protect his neck area. I'm going to go through a slow motion demonstration with Aiden, throwing a couple balls while he's already in his blocking position so you can see where we want the ball to hit the chest protector and where we want the ball to finish. The most important thing about blocking is to keep the runner at the same base. And if you can keep the ball in the area of which you block the ball, you don't have to worry about getting up as fast to make sure you can keep him there. So now Aiden's going to go through some live blocking where you're going to see every part of the mechanic that we just taught you in a live situation. Great job, Aiden. So coaches, make sure you remember a couple different things for your young catchers. Number one, he has to be in an athletic position called the secondary stance. Number two, when he recognizes the ball in the dirt, he needs to make sure his glove moves towards the ground. Number three, his body needs to fall around his glove, making sure there are no holes when he's in his blocking stance. And number four, that chest protector and the mask need to be connected to make sure we cover up our throat. Aiden, thanks a lot. Great job this morning.